I think we need to get over the grotesque image of kitty litter and really understand what basic kitty litter is made out of. Unscented kitty litter is made out of clay, bentonite clay to be exact. Bentonite is clay that is rich in minerals and comes from volcanic ash. After a volcano erupts, the ash settles onto the ground, cools down, and becomes the clay that we use in many, many products. Sodium bentonite clay is hydrophilic, which means that it's highly absorbent. It's like a magnet. The clay's negative charge is responsible for its amazing detoxifying abilities. It is a magnet for many toxic properties in the human body, like free radicals and other impurities, which are positively charged. Like a sponge, the clay molecule draws out the substance. These toxins are then cleansed away with the clay when it is removed, leaving your skin refreshed and purified. Did I mention that this mask is amazing for oily skin and helps to visually improve the look of blemishes, cellulite, sun damage, stretch marks, wrinkles, age spots, and reduces the size of pores? This clay is dug from the earth and is used in many spa and facial treatments. The price tag for a volcanic ash clay mask? It's very expensive, but in reality, you can get them for less than $3. Basically, all this means is that the clay mask that you use for your facials are really just expensive versions of unscented kitty litter. Start off with a fresh, clean face. No makeup, no moisturizer. Purchase a brand new unscented kitty litter bag. Make sure it's unscented because scented versions may have harmful chemicals that can irritate your skin. And please, do not reuse kitty litter. Do I really need to explain why? Now, open your brand new bag of kitty litter. And here, I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's basically just clay. Scoop out two tablespoons. I think I'm gonna call it clay instead of kitty litter. Scoop out two tablespoons of clay into a small mixing bowl. Make sure you add water, not too much, just enough for it to appear muddy and watery. The clay is going to absorb the water. It can hold up 10 times its own weight. Now you have an option to add any of your favorite oils or other key ingredients. I added aloe vera because it's very healing. Mix it well until you have a fine consistency. See how mushy it looks? It should look a little watery and muddy. Now pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds. If you own a microwave that can nuke a planet, try 10 seconds instead. You just want your mask to be warm, not hot. This will help dilate the pores. Now the clay should look flat and muddy, but the water should still be underneath it. Dab your fingers into the clay and apply the clay water onto your skin. Try not to directly apply the clay rocks onto your face. You just really need the water. The water contains enough of the clay particles for this to work. The clay rocks are way too rough for your delicate skin. If you happen to have a few rocks on your skin, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just be sure that you rinse it off very gently. Avoid the eye area because the eye area is so delicate and this mask can be too drying for your eye area. Remember to use thin coats. Less is always more. Apply it evenly throughout your entire face. Alright, now we're done for the moment. It's time to wait. It's going to take a maximum of 15 minutes for this clay mask to fully dry. See, you already forgot you're using kitty litter. You can feel your skin tightening up, which is great for your pores. 
At this time, you should start feeling a minty, tingly sensation on your skin. Now that it's fully dry, it's time to rinse off the mask. Use warm water and gently rinse off this mask. It's going to feel really refreshing. Towel dry, and now you're finished. Oh, and don't forget to moisturize. Your skin should feel extremely soft. It just comes to show you the best stuff comes from the most unexpected things. Bring me to the sea of sugar and spice Reminiscent through some chocolate